What is up guys, this is Max Square, and in this video I'm gonna be announcing a cool project that I've been working on over this past weekend. This is a free portfolio resume type website template for you to use for any of your projects. And if this is something you just wanna advertise, like some information about you and some of the work you've done, this template is perfect for you and it is a free template to download. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. So I call it the eyesight template because it's just the first thing that popped in my head. And this is a really simple, minimalistic design. And as you can see, it's just got a nice profile picture with your name and a nice background image and makes it look all professional with some cool books and whatnot. And then it's just got some cool items here. You can put in absolutely anything you want, such as I drank five cups of coffee, I've eaten 10 bananas, whatever you want, just put them in there. Then you can adjust the about me text. There's some skills that you have and then some of the projects you've worked on. So you can just add an, an image there. And then as you click on this, a pop-up window will appear and you can just put in some text with a nice title. It's really cool. And then lastly, you just have a big contact me button that'll open a new email linking to your email address. And then of course we have some social icons. Now there's also a menu at the top right here that'll just quickly jump you to each of the sections and you can customize all of this in a really simple and quick way as soon as you download the site. So what you wanna do is download the zip file and once you've unzipped that, you'll get a nice couple of folders and files and there's a CSS folder, fonts folder, IMG folder, and a JavaScript folder. And then there's an index.html, a style.less file, and a style.css file. We only need to worry about three different files and folders in here. We need to look at the style.less folder, excuse me, style.less file, the index.html file, and the IMG folder. The rest is just sitting in the background, making your awesome eyesight template work beautifully. So in order to open this up, just double click on the index.html file that'll open up in your browser, your default browser. And what you wanna do is open up a text editor such as Sublime Text. You can even use TextEdit. Um, just don't use a word processing app like Pages or Word. And I'll link a nice code editor you can use in the description and I'll leave a free one so you don't have to worry about paying anything. I'm gonna be using Sublime Text for this example. And I'm just gonna move that to the left. And then I'm gonna drag in, just complaining about something or another. And I'm just gonna drag in the eyesight template folder. Now we can open up the index.html file here and then also the style.less folder. Now, what we wanna do is if we wanna change the content, we wanna look at the HTML. And if you wanna change the styling, we wanna look at the less file. So let's say we wanted to change our name. You can go ahead and change that to whatever you want, like Max Square. I'm a video tutorial person, whatever you want, that'll update right there. And then of course you can also change the profile picture. And in order to do that, what you wanna do is go to the IMG folder and just replace avatar.png and then it'll automatically update. And I would recommend with any images that you use on the site to keep them to a nice small size. Obviously you wanna have some quality to it, so don't make it like eight pixels by eight pixels, but try and keep it on a low file size so that the page loads fairly quickly. Then if you wanted to change the header image behind the avatar, you can just replace the header.jpg. And again, I would just keep the file names here so that they update automatically. You don't have to worry about changing anything. So now once we've changed our name, we can adjust some of the items here and then we can adjust the about me and I'll leave the content to you guys. But what I really wanna show you is how to change these icons, stuff like that. Something that you wouldn't really know how to do right off the bat. So now this site is using a font called Font Awesome. Font Awesome is a great font or an icon font, excuse me, that has hundreds of icons I'm trying to type and talk at the same time, that has hundreds of fonts and icons. Still don't know what I'm saying because I'm trying to figure out what I'm doing. But there's hundreds of icons in this font. There we go. And as you can see here, there's just tons and tons of awesome vector icons. So this is installed into the template already, so you don't need to worry about that. 
But if you wanted to change this, so if we wanted to change this little pencil to maybe a rocket, I saw a cool rocket here a second ago. So if you want to change that, just click on that and copy this FA rocket here. And then wherever the icon that you want to change is, just find it. So it's designer and then just change FA pencil. You want to leave the first FA before that with a space in between the actual icon name. And if we refresh it, you'll notice that it's updated to the rocket. And this will update really smoothly and you shouldn't have any problems when you change this. Just make sure you're not deleting or adding anything else that could potentially mess up the icon or whatever it is that you're changing. Now, in order to change the image, I would recommend just going to the projects folder and then you want to try and keep the file name. So again, it will update automatically and you can just replace image one through 12 and they will automatically change here. And then you can again change the titles and then down here you can change the project title for the modal or the pop up window and then the content that's in that window. If you want to change the contact me button to actually link to your email address, because right now it's just a dummy link, just replace the your email at address.com with your actual email. And then right here, you want to change the social icon links. So right now they're not actually linking to anything. So this would be twitter.com slash max facebook.com slash max whatever yours is. And if you don't actually like any of these icons and you don't have any accounts on these social media sites, you can go back to the font awesome site and just look for the social icon section. It should be towards the bottom or even under brand icons. And you'll see here that there's Spotify, Twitter, uh, HTML, Facebook, a whole bunch of other things. Again, all you want to do is just click on the one you want, copy that name and then just replace it with the icon that was currently there. So now if I go back, you'll see that we'll have two dribble icons here. This is the one I just changed. So it's a really simple site to edit. And again, it shouldn't be that hard to figure out how to change. Now that's on the content side, but if you want to change some of the styles, it's really simple. I made this as simple as possible so you can get your site up and running as soon as you can. So this is, so now the way we're going to edit this, so now the way we're going to style our site is by using a less file. Now you're going to need an app called the less app and I'll leave a link in the description. It's a free app. And once you have it up and running, all you have to do is just select the plus button and then go find the eyesight template folder that you've just unzipped and then go and just select add. It'll automatically detect that there's a less file in there. And once you've done so, I've already added it there. That's why it's complaining. Once you've done so, all you have to do is just leave it sitting in the background and make sure that the automatically compiled files when saved is checked. Now what this will do is whenever you edit the less file, it'll update the CSS file so that the site actually receives those updates. So in order to change the fonts, I've set this to a primary and secondary font. There's only two fonts on the site, really simple. And I'm using two Google fonts. And in order to update the Google fonts, all you have to do is just copy the link that you'll receive. And I'll, I'll just go ahead and show you that in a second. So we're going to pick Oswald here. And what you want to do is just click the quick use. And then you can select that you want to use the bold, light or normal weight. So you can use all of them and then just copy this link code and paste it before the head tag. And you'll see there's already two fonts here, Gentium Basic and Open Sans, just paste it in there. And then in the primary fonts, you wanna just select the font that you just pasted in. So it'd be Oswald, and that'll automatically update throughout the site. So you don't need to go and change every element that has that font family. All you have to do is change it in that one line of code and it'll update universally throughout the template. And if you want to change any of the colors of the site, such as this items background color or any of the other colors, you just need to look at this at, you just need to look at these 10 lines of code to change the main colors. Now, not all the styles will be here. You may want to change the gray that's overlaying on the images, or maybe the colors like the white on the skills or whatever it is. You can just dig through that. It's not that hard to find. I've organized it pretty well. You just look at the general styles or you can look at header styles. Again, if you want to look at skill styles or item styles, it's all labeled here. So it's not 
a completely incredibly hard thing to find, just search for the thing you want and it'll pop up and you can go ahead and adjust the code there. So guys, that is the template. I hope you have fun using it. And again, if you have any questions or concerns regarding how to set this up or you're having some issue with the site, go ahead and shoot me an email at luke at macsq.com. There will be a link in the description. There'll be thousands of links in the description by the time this video is over. But I hope you all enjoy this template. Again, it's free, so please share it with friends and use it for your own projects. Use it for multiple projects. I hope you all enjoy and thank you for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.